Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Spiritual. It's going to be a general reading for the sign of Aquarius. It is general, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take what fits, leave the rest. Any characters in the story can always be reversed, vice versa. All right. Aquarius, December. We got Aquarius for December. Please forgive me. My last reading was kind of about forgiveness too. So someone did something wrong and uh, wants you to forgive them. I was not ready for you. So they may not have committed. They may have acted a little flaky. Party. Could have met at a party, they could like to party a lot. Crossroads. They weren't sure what choice to make. Heartbreak. Social media. Interesting because both of this kind of has to do with being social, a party and social media. One's obviously online and one's in person. This person could be a very social person. They like to um, be around a lot of people, which may in turn make them kind of non-committal. It's um, a wheel. Out of cups, crush card. That's what I was thinking is this person does feel like someone that maybe, you know, is the life of the party, likes to socialize a lot, likes to go out a lot, whatever. And it's like the, I don't want to even say the player because I don't know if it's really that. It just might be the person that kind of the energy of someone that's in college isn't just isn't ready to commit because they have so much to kind of experience. I just not even feel like this person's bad. It's just, it feels like someone that hypothetically is in their first year of college meets someone that they actually really, really like, but it's just really not quite the time to start a relationship. Or, you know, in an older sense, could be someone that, you know, just got their dream job and, you know, they weren't really looking for someone, but they happened to, you know, catch feelings, but it wasn't really quite time yet because they had a lot to work on or something like that where it's like this person that isn't necessarily a bad person they just weren't looking for a relationship they caught feelings and um they had a choice to make whether they're gonna which way they were gonna go and they obviously made the choice with the heartbreak card not to choose you but it feels like part of them is regretting that decision but uh, again they don't feel like a bad person it just feels like there are some particular reasons to why this couldn't page one happened at the time they might have just not had a lot of time and I know like some people saying like oh I'm so busy like I don't I don't have time obviously most of the time that's an excuse that's not what I'm talking about um I'm talking about someone that's more just was like I I I am choosing to have different priorities right now like yeah I could make time if I wanted to but this person at the time did not want to um but again this doesn't make this doesn't feel like they're a bad person anything else here Fifth dimension. They can feel some sort of like deep connection with you. Misunderstanding and stuck. It may have come across like this person just was completely uninterested in you. Um, and again, this is not the t this is not the person that. Oh, I'm really busy. Like I I I'll, I'll, I'll I I want to see you, but I just don't. Ha I, I I I have to work today or whatever whatever. Obviously, that type of person can see you if they feel like it. This is the type of person that's just specifically saying to you, look, I can't do a relationship right now. Let's part ways. Not like, let me string you along and tell you that I'm just really busy. I mean, this is someone that just made the, made the choice to not go forward. 
in order to not manipulate you. But now they're like, oh crap, I miss this person. I actually did have feelings for this person. And it may come across like, well, they just didn't like me. Why couldn't they have just seen me when they, you know, when they had the free time? But it's like, because this person didn't want to manipulate you. They didn't want you. They, this person knew that you deserved more than what they could give you at the time. And so basically what they say, like they say is, if you love them, let them go. That's this situation here. The mirror. They were focused on themselves right now. And again, not in an egotistical way, just they had things to do. And they, they, they chose the path of not being in the relationship. Tornado, storm warning, unexpected end. It may have ended quickly. You may not have expected it. But also in this sense of, I don't think this person expected to care. What does this person want now? Do they want anything or is it still not happening? High priestess, trust your intuition. Because no one should wait around for anybody, but the world. So things have may have changed. They may have, you know, completed the business project they needed to, or they completed their first year of college, or whatever it may be. Deep connection. This deep commitment, uncommon bonds. This person knows you had a connection that was uncommon. Wishes are coming true. follow the leader they uh, back to kind of the job thing they may have had a very high profile job where they were a leader and they they just chose to not have a relationship that's i don't really know what else to say it just feels like someone that just opted not to be in a relationship um let's see Oh, we already did those. What else can we pull? This. Courtship. They wanted to do it right. They didn't have time, or they chose not to have time. Again. Because they know you deserve a courtship. They know you don't deserve to just hang out, you know one hour a week, you know what I mean? Imprisonment. They felt kind of trapped in the situation because they knew they had to do whatever it is that they had to do. Distant horizons. There may be a future here on the horizon, but I wouldn't wait around for it. If it happens, it happens. If it's meant to be, it will be. message this person may reach out and just kind of ask how you're doing and how your holiday was or something kind of casual like that just to uh check in oh. it's like there's really no particular outcome here it's just like they chose they knew you deserved better than what they could give you at the time check it flags conclusion verdict they made that decision they thought that was the best decision for the situation is to just walk away it's like it wasn't an easy choice but they knew that being with you heart and home they couldn't give you that they couldn't give you that security that you needed right now uh it also could be someone that travels a lot for business it feels something like that it feels like this person has something very very important to do and obviously yes they could have been in a relationship but they felt like that would be a disservice to you they felt like it was more unfair for them to give you an hour of their time a week versus you may not feel that way but this person felt like you deserved more than that and they couldn't give you that right now so they let you go 
hopefully this is making sense and feel like I'm starting to circle. So I'm going to end this here. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up on this video. And subscribe to be notified when I post future videos. My Etsy shop is It's Simply Spiritual, which is linked below if you're interested in several of the decks that I used in this reading today. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.